Quand il a pas sa simulation, il a, il a beaucoup de problèmes à la jambe droite, il croise beaucoup les jambes, il tombe très facilement. Pour ça, il faut rester à côté. Il peut le faire tout seul, comme il le fait d'ailleurs à la maison. On va juste vérifier si la simulation est allumée ou éteinte. Je l'avais déjà allumé. Ça indique bien. Effectivement, la simulation est allumée. On reste quand même pas trop loin. Hein. Il y a deux ans, presque jour pour jour, je me faisais implanter donc ce simulateur par Jocelyne. Et puis ça a changé ma vie en ce sens que maintenant, je suis autonome. Comme vous l'avez vu, je peux marcher. Bon, J'ai encore des difficultés à parler, mais ça c'est autre chose. Voilà. Et ça a changé ma vie parce que maintenant, je peux sortir de chez moi, je peux aller faire des courses, je peux aller même à, à pied, j'y vais pour faire des exercices. For the past 20 years, we have been developing technology for precise stimulation of the spinal cord with the objective to restore walking after paralysis due to spinal cord injury. And we thought we could leverage this technology and concept to improve get deficits that are due to Parkinson's disease. The technology is a neurostimulator that delivers precise pulses of electricity to the region of the spinal cord involved in the control of leg muscles. And the pulses are delivered at the correct location with the correct timing in order to reproduce the way the spinal cord is activated naturally in order to walk. Although there is only one participant, there's a huge difference between zero and one, especially with this huge history that we have behind us. So we really strongly believe that many individuals could benefit from this therapy. I only need to be really on top of the device while I am uh, the hub itself is charged and this I can tell you how much the stimulator itself is. And here you see the quality connection while I'm charging. <laughs> And in the case of Mark, he was almost always at home because he was scared of falling. You know, a fall means a danger. And I think, and that's uh, something you only realize when it happens to you, that with this therapy, if people can gain more confidence and can go out and have a better social interaction and do more things, it's an enormous uh, plus in the daily activity and the quality of life.